Hello and welcome to Dermatology Explained. Today we'll be speaking about a topic, lichen nitidus. Lichen nitidus is a benign inflammatory skin disorder. It's uncommon chronic eruption consisting of multiple tiny discrete skin colored papules that are often arranged in large clusters. It is usually asymptomatic, however, it can be itchy and pruitic. Curb neurization is common, whereby trauma to unaffected skin areas can cause the lichen nitidus lesions to form. In terms of its epidemiology, it is slightly more common in females and is typically found in children and young adults. In terms of the underlying cause of lichen nitidus, it is thought that it can coexist with lichen planus, as they share some similar clinical features. However, most authors believe that lichen nitidus is a separate entity because of its clinical and histological features. The cause of lichen nitidus is unknown. However, there have been a number of reported associations. It is unclear how strong these associations are. It has been reported to be associated with lichen planus, Crohn's disease, Down syndrome, atopic dermatitis, HIV infection, juvenile chronic arthritis, as well as congenital megacolon. In terms of the features of lichen nitidus, this condition is characterized by numerous tiny, discrete, skin-colored, pinhead-sized papules. Individual papules are usually flat with a shiny surface, and occasionally they can have a central depression. Although most are flesh or skin-colored, these papules can exhibit a variety of hues, from pink to yellow to red-blue to brown. In darkly pigmented individuals, the papules tend to be hyperpigmented, but sometimes they can be hyperpigmented. They're usually discrete lesions, but may be closely clustered or grouped. The lesions are usually distributed on the flexor aspects of the upper extremities, as well as the chest, abdomen, genitalia, and dorsal aspects of the hands. Less commonly, they may be found on the face, neck, lower extremities, palms, soles, and mucous membrane areas. Oral lesions are thought to be rare. Nail involvement is observed in up to 10% of patients, mostly in adults, and nail changes that have been reported include pitting, rippling, longitudinal ridging, terminal splitting, and increased longitudinal linear striations. In some studies, the duration of lichen nitidus was one year or less in 66% of cases, and the longest duration reported has been eight years. In terms of the histological findings of lichen nitidus, it is very distinctive. A well-circumscribed infiltrate composed of lymphocytes, epithelioid cells, and occasionally leg-hand giant cells, is typically clutched by surrounding hyperplastic ready ridges in a ball and claw configuration. The overlying epidermis is usually atrophic and frequently exhibits a parakeratotic cap centrally. Absence or thinning of the overlying granular layer is seen, and vacuolar degeneration of the basal layer of the epidermis is often observed. The primary cell type in the dermal infiltrate are lymphocytes and epithelioid cells. Remember the ball and claw appearance of lichen nitidus. In terms of management options for lichen nitidus, since the majority of patients experience spontaneous clearing within one or several years, treatment is primarily symptomatic. When there is significant itchiness or pruritus present, topical corticosteroids and oral antihistamines may be useful. Topical calcineurin inhibitors have also been reported as an effective therapy in children with lichen nitidus. For those who have not resolved their symptoms with topical therapies, then light-based therapies including narrowband UVB as well as PUVA phototherapy can be used to treat lichen nitidus. For severe cases, oral options also include prednisone, cyclosporin, acetretin, itraconazole, and isoniazid. In terms of the prognosis, it has rarely any mortality or morbidity risk on its own. However, in cases that are associated with lichen planus, one needs to investigate this further. Lichen nitidus lesions may clear in a few weeks or last a very long time without showing much response to treatment. In 66% of cases, the lichen nitidus lesions resolve within 12 months. In terms of the differential diagnoses of lichen nitidus, this can include lichen planus, lichen scrofulosorum, keratosis pilaris, lichen spinulosis, lichen striatus, lichen amyloidosis, and plain warts. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll catch up with you next time.